To be a rambler to me is to be a man and woman of God. Mm. It's to be someone who's about something bigger than yourself. To be someone who's about service, who's about living out the gospel values that, that Jesus taught us about loving each other, about caring for each other. Hello and welcome to the Rambler Podcast. My name is Jimmy Smith and I am your host. I'm a proud member of the Cathedral Prep class of 2011 and I work here in our advancement office at Cathedral Prep. Uh, before we get into this episode of the podcast with Tony Parsons, I just wanted to let you know that the Cathedral Prep Spirit Store will be having a spring sale for the whole month of April. All items will be 25% off and select items will be 50% off. This discount also applies to all online orders by going to www.cathedralprep.com backslash spirit store and using the promo code SPRING24. The Cathedral Prep Spirit Store is located at the Haggerty Family Event Center and the hours are Monday through Friday, 3.30 to 5.30 and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So be sure to stock up on all of your Rambler gear and uh, take advantage of this awesome discount we're doing for here in April. But without further ado, let us get into this episode of the podcast with Tony Parsons. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode number 50 of the Rambler podcast, where we are passionate about sharing what makes Cathedral Prep the standard of excellence. On this episode of the podcast, we are very excited to have Tony Parsons on as a guest. Tony was born into the Prep family. His dad was an extremely proud graduate of the class of 1980, and Tony graduated from Prep in 2005. His brother Mike graduated in 2008, and his brother Tyler, who was a classmate of mine, graduated in 2011. While at prep, Tony wrestled and played football under the legendary coach Mike Mishler. After graduation from prep, Tony went on to Gannon University, where he received his degree in education, and Tony also coached both football and wrestling at prep. Right after graduating from Gannon, Tony began to be a substitute teacher for a year at prep, and while subbing, he was interviewed for a full-time position, and he was offered the position in the social studies department And Tony is now in his 14th year as a teacher here at Prep. Tony has taught World History 1, World History 2, American History, United States Government and Politics, Financial Planning, and Freshman Seminar. In addition to teaching, Tony has served on the Student Assistance Program, been a junior class advisor, and been the faculty advisor for the Key Club. Tony currently is on the Safety Committee and the Administrative Advisory Council. Tony is married to his best friend, Christy, and they will be celebrating their 13th year of marriage this summer. Tony and Christy have two children, Anna, prep class of 2034, and Grace, prep class of 2039. And of course, Tony has their graduation years already set and yep. memorized. <laughs> yep, yep. We've already known. Already, already know. Known. Welcome yep. to the podcast. Yes, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, yeah. it's funny. I also have my kids' class yeah. years, and we were just talking before we were recording that our daughters will have the same yes. class year together. That's so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. And, and, you know, people always say, like, we already have that memorized. It's like, yeah, as soon as they're born, you do. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> you already, it's, it's, it's automatic. You know what I mean? My, my dad knew it for me and all of our, uh, my brother. So it's just kind of something you're born into yep. you know, for, for the special, uh, you know, alumni and, you know, their kids and everything. So it's yeah. really cool. Well, and I knew uh, Tyler, obviously, before you because yep. I was classmates with him here. Yep. Uh, but you were also coaching football when I played my freshman year. Yep. And uh, so I got to meet you there. I knew you as Coach Parsons, yep. you know. And yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I never really left prep. I, I started as soon as I graduated. I started coaching football uh, and wrestling uh, right away and then did that all the way through college and then, like I said, uh, subbed as soon as I graduated and then got hired and, you know, the rest is history. And I think, was it Tyler and my, was it your senior year or junior year that you started teaching? Or maybe subbing? It was my senior, your senior year. That would have been my first year full time. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I remember you were yeah. in the building yep. uh, at some point during that yep. time, and uh, yeah, that makes sense yeah. like, with the timeline. I know it's crazy, and I've seen you know we're knowing you and Tyler through sports, and now you guys grow up, and now you know yeah. seeing you as seniors, and I'm teaching. That was that was a <laughs> surreal experience. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. 
But it was fun. It was special. Yeah. Yeah, it was really special. Well, it's cool. You're one of the staples here at Prep Now, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I yeah. Yeah, I, it's it's weird to think about that, you know what I mean? Every every year that goes by, you get a little more established and become one of those kind of fixtures and staples and kind of, you know, reminds me of my own aging process a little bit. <laughs> but I'm all right with that. I'm yeah. all right with that. It's an honor. It's yeah. an, it's you know, when you start thinking about, you know, people that have been here for a while and you know, your name starts getting up there. It's it's a gigantic honor. Well, and it's neat because when I bring either classmates of mine or whoever in for tours, they'll ask me, what teachers are still here mm-hmm. when we were here? And it's, it's few now yeah. between those years, uh, but you're one of them, yeah. you know, of course, and Brian Markley and Mr. Killy and some mm-hmm. others as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's pretty cool you yeah. know, to have that. Yeah. yeah, hey, you know, just trying to carry on that legacy that so many, you know, of the great teachers, you know, that... We, have, we may have had, you know, the Mr. Shars and Mr. Deschners, Mr. Achilles, Mr. Markley's. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Some of the people that were here for, for so long have been here. Um, you know, just realizing what an impact they had um, and then trying to just find your, you know, how you can do that in a right. great legacy. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And we were joking with your bio um, at the end there and you were saying, of course, you your dad already had you guys. So oh, yeah. it's coming to prep. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, one of the questions after is why you decided to attend prep, but was there even a doubt in your mind? Well, there... <laughs> well I, this is, this is absolutely true. I was, so, so my birthday's in September and my dad had me in those little baby backpacks at prep football games in October. <laughs> so, so I was, you know, two, three week old at, at, you know, prep football games and, awesome. and basketball games. And, you know, it was, it was funny. I, um, you know, always grew up loving prep and I'll never forget when I was in um, eighth grade, we did the group shadow visits to prep and I came with that, came with all my classmates. And then I remember they're like, if you want to set up an individual uh, shadow visit, you you absolutely can. Yeah. So I signed up to do an individual shadow visit to, you know, get another day here, you know. Of course. Why not? I, you know, I already knew what I was coming, but why not get another free day here, free of course. lunch, right? And I remember I get called down to the principal's office uh, and Miss Riser, who I got to give a huge shout out to, uh, uh, my grade school principal, one of the biggest influences in my life, uh, becoming a teacher. She, I can't even begin to thank her enough for everything she did for me. Uh, so Mrs. Riser, I hope you get a chance to listen to this. <laughs> um, but, uh, she called me in and she said, uh, she said, you signed up to go to the prep visit. I said, yeah. And she goes, you're not going. And I said, <laughs> why? And she's like, cause Everyone in the world knows you're going to prep. You're not getting a, <laughs> you're not getting a free day off of school. You did the group visit. You're not getting an individual shadow visit. Oh man! So I know. I was like, come on. I was like, I really need to make my decision. She's like, no, you don't. You've already put you've already put your deposits down. You know where you're going. I'm like, all right, fine. So I didn't get the day off of school. So that's quite the bummer. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was like, come yeah. on, man. Everyone was going. So well, it's funny you say that because I shadowed prep when I was even in seventh grade for um, the same reason. Yeah. I already knew I was going there. Yeah. But I had the opportunity to shadow in seventh. Yeah, yeah. sign me up. Yeah. That sounds great. I know. So, Miss Roger, I love you. I appreciate everything, but I, I still wish I could have had that day off. <laughs> so, yeah. Not many regrets in your life, but no. that's one of the yeah. things you hold yeah. on to. I still, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, obviously, there was no doubt you were going to prep. That was already set in your, your path of mm-hmm. where you were going, which is awesome. Um, so, then when you're here, you know, what was that like for you being yeah. a student? I mean, obviously, I think it's when you're somebody who envisions yourself going to prep mm-hmm. for all those years yeah. and you're finally in there it's like yeah. wow i'm actually a rambler yeah. now yeah. yeah it was surreal it was surreal the biggest the thing i'll never forget is um right away i i learned very quickly who who we are and what we're all about i remember you know sadly my freshman year we're just starting the year and september 11th mm. 2001 wow. happened um, and I'll never forget, we were in gym class and Mr. Achille opens up the door and tells us, you know, what happened and everyone rushes to TVs to go try to find out what happened. And uh, I'll never forget that next day, the first thing we did was everyone came to the auditorium and we had a prayer service. Mm-hmm. And then we did mass later for, you know, for everyone who was lost and for the first responders and you know, the victims and for just, you know, everyone that tragically was lost that day. And it was like instantaneous. We're going to turn to prayer. We're going to turn to mass. We're going to turn to our faith. And that was such a a, a powerful moment for me to be like, wow, this is really who we all are. You know what I mean? We are all about our faith. We are 
all about, you know, um, you know, our, our, our Catholic mission. And that was, that was really, really powerful to me to be like, that's the first thing we do instantly. Let's turn to our faith in a yeah. time of crisis and a time of fear and a time of, you know, we turn to our faith. And that was a huge comfort for me and knowing, and then being able to have those discussions in classes and bring up God and bring up our faith. And, and, you know, that was just, that was a real comfort at that time. And, and to know that again, just emphasizing, you know, what we stand for, who we are, and that's something we live out. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just a, you know, tagline for, you know, recruitment. It's who we are. It's in every right. fiber of who we're being. Um, and then I always contrast that with the, you know, the last thing we do other than graduation is our baccalaureate mass. Mm -hmm. So I always kind of, you know, have those two kind of as the bookends to my time here of, mm -hmm. you know, our, our, you know, prayer service, our mass, and then, you know, uh, baccalaureate mass is kind of such a powerful bookend of who we are yeah. in our, in our faith here, which yeah. is just so powerful. I always love the baccalaureate, mm -hmm. you know, service. It's uh, one of my favorite times and <clears throat> coming back and, and working for the school, it makes you remember why it's so special yes. and being a part of that all. And, mm -hmm. and I'm sure now, did you have the pinning ceremony when you were a senior? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Yes, my yeah. dad pinned me. Yeah, yep. very cool. Yep. I know yep. you've probably been asked many times now to pin others since <laughs> yeah. you're a teacher, yep. you know? Yep. Yep. Um, but that's also yep. a very unique opportunity mm -hmm. for the seniors to pick somebody to pin oh. them. And it's such an honor for... I, I get emotional even thinking about it now, my dad putting that pin on me and... Yeah. And, you know, just embracing me in a big hug and kind of saying, welcome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Welcome to the alumni. And yep. it's, yeah, it's a powerful moment. Yeah. It really is. Yep. It really is. And it's one of the things that, you know, <clears throat> makes prep so special mm -hmm. and very unique. And, and, you know, if you're a Villa alum, <clears throat> you had those same types of experiences at Villa, too. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, and now that the school's won, you know, the girls are getting some of those villa traditions that we carried over here yep. and also some of the prep tradition traditions like baccalaureate different mm -hmm. things like that so yeah, it's beautiful yeah um so when it comes to now you know beyond your time as a student uh you go to gannon you're right back at prep yeah. essentially almost yeah. right away yeah. after you were done yeah. as a student um i guess before we even talk about that why when you went to gannon did you decide to pursue teaching as a career yeah so you know, I was I was between a couple different professions when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, um, and I'll, I'll never forget. You know, when I was you know uh, debating, I, you know, teaching was always kind of at the forefront. I had a lot of great influences in, in my life. You know, as as great teachers, a ton of them here at Prep. You know, I had Mr. Markley, Mr. Achille, who. Um, it's so awesome that I got to have them as teachers now as colleagues, yeah. you know, they were both obviously huge influences in my life, you know, um, uh, just so many other, you know, great teachers at, at, at prep, you know, and, and in, you know, grade school, I went to, uh, OLC St. Jude's now great teachers there. So, you know, I, I always saw the value that teaching could have. And I remember one time I, uh, was talking to my uncle, who's also a teacher and I asked him, I'm like, what do you, what do you think about teaching? And he said, you know what? He goes, I've never dreaded a day of work in my life. Every mm -hmm. single day I wake up and I love what I get to do. I get excited when I get to go to work. I don't dread the weekends ending. Mm -hmm. I don't dread a vacation ended. I, I love getting to be involved in the lives of young people and help them and you know, be, you know, kind of an, uh, a try to be a positive influence and he said, I just love what I do. And I remember saying, you know, uh, that was my uncle, my uncle Paul and, uh, who was actually Paul Cousins was a wrestling coach here for a little oh, bit. Cool. And, uh, I said, that's what I want. I mm -hmm. want that feeling. Yeah. I want, you know, because, you know, it, it, it's, you know, when you, when you think about it, our, our time is short. Mm -hmm. It really is. And, you know, I, I've always kind of just thought about what can I do with what God has given me, the gifts I've had to make my small little impact, however it may be. And I wanted to always try to pursue something bigger than me. Yeah. And I, I thought teaching was a great way to do that. And I just thought that feeling of loving what you do. And then, I mean, man, has that been the case for me? Yeah. I, I've, I mean, I'm sure we'll talk about it more, but I've, never felt like I've gone to work in my life. Yeah. You know, I've found that feeling and, 
and to just be able to love what you do and to help give back and, and to, you know, uh, be an influence in the lives of, of, you know, people at such an important age is a tremendous blessing. Yeah. Well, that's really cool that you had some good guidance mm. as to, you know, figuring out your career. Cause that's always mm. a tough thing when you're entering right. college. It's what are you even going to do with your mm. life? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's so tough. I mean, tell the, hey, figure out what you want to do with your whole life. Go yeah. Ahead. Right. You know what I mean? Which is, you know, again, I think, I think that is so, I, I, I mean, I'm sure we'll get in, into this more, but like, which is so awesome, which prep is doing now. Cause I've always felt it's tough to say to like an 18 year old kid, okay, go ahead, figure out what you want to do with your whole life. <laughs> right. right. But what's really cool things that we're doing at prep now with like the path programs mm -hmm. and we're doing more experiential learning and the field trips and speakers, we're giving kids way more opportunities to see that firsthand right. so that they're really getting exposed to way more to see, oh, I really would like that or, oh, I yeah. don't like that or that would be great. So I think that's something awesome we're doing to really help kids out. Yeah, absolutely. No, I couldn't agree with you more. I When I first heard about these pathway programs mm -hmm. like you're talking about and the, ex the experiential learning opportunities, mm -hmm. it's such a different school than yes. you and I went to. Yes. And it wasn't that long yes. ago even. <laughs> yes, yeah, no. It, um, it, my, my, my brother Mike teaches our junior achievement program here after school and he made a comment Something along the lines of, along the lines of like, he's like, wow, this is such a different prep than I went to, but for the better. Yeah, right. It's such a better, and he loved prep, and he had nothing bad to say about it. He loved yep. it, thought it was great, thought everything was amazing, and he's like, this is not, but it's better. Right. He's like, this is so much better yep. when you get to see everything. So, I mean, you take something that was already great. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you add on all the things that we've been doing to it. Yep. It's it's just amazing. And it's a kudos to you guys, the teachers, for on the front line, you know, working with the kids. Yeah. Uh, but the administration, just all the decisions oh, that have gosh. been made to have those process and Will Patooch and everything done with that. Yeah. Uh, just amazing. And um, yeah. so when you were at Gannon, you decided you're going to teach. Did it ever pop in your mind that you'd end up at prep? I mean, not, not really. No, no, because actually, I'm I'm dual certified. I'm I'm K to twelve certified. So I didn't really know which yeah. route I was gonna go. I was kind of thinking of, you know, I could go anywhere really. Yeah. Um, you know, I always stayed close. You know, I mean, I was coaching at prep, following along with prep, but it didn't really. You know, um, I I didn't know if that's exactly where I would be, but. I was, after I graduated, I was just looking to try to find some work, get my right. foot in the door, different places. I saw prep had, you know, they needed subs. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll do that. That would be a great place to just get my foot in the door. I'm comfortable there. I know everyone there. And I, you know, I got my foot in there and never took it out, yeah. <laughs> you know? So it was just, yeah. Yeah. Was, well, that's how I was wondering if during your time you're like, you know what, I'm going to try to go back to prep to teach yeah. or if it just kind of happened to be, it, you know? It just happened. Yeah. And when I started subbing, it was kind of like, oh yeah, this is what I want to do. Yeah. This is what I want to do. This is, this is it. And then I'll, I'll never forget. It was on, um, it was on sports day. That was our kind of a different version of sports that we did. That yes. someone came up to me and was like, "Hey, you know, uh, a full time position is opening up in social studies," and I'm like, oh, "Okay." Yeah. So I got all my stuff together, sent it to Father Jabo right away, yep. and started the process as soon as I could. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 And so you know, you get that into Jabo, you get the full time job. What were those early years of teaching yeah. at prep like for you? I mean, yeah. Well, I remember Sister Claudia was the principal at yeah, the right, time, right? And she called me to uh, officially offer me the job, mm. and uh, she she offers me the job, and she goes, "Well, we just like to offer you the job, and you know, take some time to think about it." And I'm like, "I don't need time to think about it." I'll take it. <laughs> so <laughs> it might have been the quickest acceptance uh, she's in, ever got. Yeah, she's ever gotten. I'm like, I don't need time. I'm good. I'm. I'll, <laughs> I'll take the job. She's yeah. like, oh, okay, well, that, that's good. So, um, you know, it was it was good. It was the first couple of years, you know, as a as a first second year teacher, right? You're trying to stay a step ahead of the kids. You know what yeah. I mean? That that's it's so so. I have all the respect in the world for first second year teachers. It is mm -hmm. so it's challenging. It's tough. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, thankfully, I was at a at, at an amazing place. I had great mentors. Um, I had, you know, some really, really, really great people around me. Um, Frank Mesler, who used mm -hmm. to teach here forever. He's my cousin. Yeah. 
he was in our department at the time. Mr. Flanagan was in our department yep. who uh, taught with me. Uh, uh, Mr. Patooch, he came on in the social studies department. Oh, right. Yep. Um, my second year here, he came on. He was a huge um, influence on me and helping me and just a great sounding board, um, you know, for, for so many things. So I was really blessed with a lot of great mentors within my department. The administration was great, yeah. you know, in helping. So that it was, it was good. And, and, and there were so many of the strong, you know, um, role models still, still around, you know, um, that, that really meant, you know, a lot to me. Yeah. You know, yeah. that really meant a lot. So that was good to have that. Well, you know, I always would think in my mind that first or second year teacher, it's already very tough just yeah. learning, you know, getting ahead of the kids. But then even at prep, it's another level, right? Yeah. The, yes. Especially it was all boys when you yes. were first starting. Yes, so. <laughs> yes, yes. It, and, you know, I had, I had a lot of good, you know, influences, like I said, that helped mold me. Um, you know, one of the, one of my, you know, basic beliefs about, you know, teaching is, is creating and, and raising good people, mm. good people more than just good students. Yeah. And one of, you know, I have to give a gigantic shout out to coach Mish for mm. that and what coach Mishler did. And, and you can talk to, and I'm sure you have all of the players he's had in the past. And I mean, the guy's, the goat, right? He's, right. he's, he's as, as legendary as they get five state championships, right? Even more state title appearances. I mean, he's as good as it comes, but all of his players will universally tell you that he always cared way more about what type of person you were mm. and how you carried yourself and how you behaved in the classroom, how you treated your family, how you treated your friends. Were you, you know, growing in your faith? Were you, and, and that was such an impact on me. And there's one story I have to share that just stood out with me so much. Is I remember when I played football, uh, that's when we played at McDonald Fieldhouse. We didn't have this right. super nice event yeah. center and the turf and all that. We were, yep. we were on grass and mud and, and all that. So I remember one day my senior year, we, um, we had practice and it was a real rainy, wet day, you know, muddy, everything. And we're filthy after practice. And we go into the field house to watch film um, after practice. And, uh, you know, Coach Mish is leading us through the film. And uh, the door opens. And it's his, it's his wife. And I don't know if you... Calling her nice is, is like the biggest understatement of the year. <laughs> you know, she's one of the most sincere, nice, kind person you will ever meet in your yeah. life. She's, I mean, she's like a living saint. She's, she's awesome. And uh, she opens up the door... And she has a basket of towels that she had brought for everyone. Mm. Um, and again, just one of the nicest people ever. And she goes to open up the door and sees that everyone's watching film. She goes, oh, 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 I'm sorry. And kind of sets the basket down and doesn't want to interrupt. And I remember Coach Mish stopped the film, went, turned on the light, said, no, come here, honey. Come on in. Had her come in, helped her carry in the towels. And just gave her a big hug and kiss, said, thank you so much, honey. You know, uh, I really appreciate this. You know, I love you. Can't wait to see you when I get home. We'll be home soon. Um, you know, I love you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. And I just remember just sitting there and thinking, like, here's this guy that's a legend to me, right? right. And he sees his wife and he talks in the kindest, most loving terms. And he's so respectful and kind and when he sees his wife and I just remember thinking to myself, it was burned in my brain. Like, that's what I want to be. Mm. That's what I want to be. Yeah. I want to be someone who no matter where I'm at, no matter who I'm in front of, no matter what's going on, sees my wife, sees my kids and instantly is nurturing, kind, respectful, you know, and that was just burned in my brain. And yeah. I'm just so, because he, he lived that all the time. Right. And it was such a strong example of how to treat people. Yeah. And um, I just, that you know, that was just so, so impactful to me. Just thinking like, that's amazing. That's, that's what I want to be. Well, and that's what being a man of prep 
it is right there. Exactly. You know, it's it's more than just the accolades of career accomplishments as mm -hmm. Coach Mish has obviously had. Yeah. But when you're talking about what drives you is the development of the kids and mm -hmm. who they are as people. Coach yep. Mish and what drives him in helping those players be good people. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's what really makes prep so unique and special is mm -hmm. people who care about the kids and helping them be the best people they can be. Because you only played football for as long as you did. Yep. But that lesson stuck with you mm -hmm. to inspire you to say, that's the type of man I want to mm -hmm. be. And, 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 that's, and that's exactly right. And that's yeah. kind of what I took into those first couple of years and what I, I still try to take every single day now as a teacher is yeah. that we're only going to have them in the classroom so long. And the lessons we teach them are incredibly important. But I think the ultimate goal is that hopefully we they leave here you know, a little better of a person that, and, and that's what I love about prep is, you know, that we can talk to them about their, their faith, their yeah. spirituality. Yep. We can talk to them about their morals and doing the right thing and becoming a good, you know, becoming a good man, becoming a good woman, becoming one day a good, you know, spouse, parent, yep. friend, and just how to be a good person in the world. Yeah. And in a world that needs that so much, it's so great that we can have those conversations here. Um, and I think that's what makes us so special. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but just you sharing that makes me, you know, feel emotional too. Just thinking mm -hmm. about, I know I've had those moments through my time at prep, whether it was on the baseball field yep. or it was in the classroom or mm -hmm. whatever it was. Um, those are the things that stick with you and that, you know, make it a place that all the buildup of being at prep, right, yep. that you and I had yep. about going to school yep. there, it lived up to be true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely did. Yeah. 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 Um, so, you know, uh, for your position, looking back on your years through teaching, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that might be some of the most memorable moments for you mm -hmm. at this point that make it special now as a teacher? So, so I was thinking about this and like, what's really crazy now, and this again, reminds me of getting older than I like to admit, <laughs> but like seeing some of the students now that have graduated prep, graduated oh, right. college, and now I'm actually starting to see kids like, that are becoming doctors and nurses and teachers and lawyers and all these, you know what I mean? Like going yeah. out and doing these things that that is really, really cool to see. Um, it's, it's really cool to see, you know, especially, you know, I love when I get to teach freshmen and then get to see who they are as seniors yeah, and get to see that growth and, you know, get to see, you know, who, who they are, um, you know, seeing that just who they develop as a person is yeah. just the most amazing it's such, it's a blessing. It really is. Yeah. And, and to say it's part of my job is an unbelievable statement, yeah. but you know what I mean? To get to see how they grow and develop is, is, is just so amazing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. That is actually probably a pretty unique uh, opportunity then to see, you know, I, I always think of it as, you know, you have these kids for the four years, some mm -hmm. of them you only have once or maybe mm -hmm. just for a semester. But then you see them come back for reunions yeah. or you see through social media what they're yep. doing or their parents are telling you. It's yep. like, wow, that's so it's, awesome to yeah. see. Oh my, it's, yeah. it's amazing. It yeah. really is. It really is. And so now most recently, you know, prep going co-ed, uh, you know, the question everybody always has, yeah. and I think we're kind of past that now, but I'd still love to get your input on it. Yeah. What's it been now like for you? You know, two years Un of co-ed prep. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's been unbelievable. I, I've... The, the amount of experiences that I've had are just so, so, I mean, unbelievable is the only word I can really, you know, <laughs> think about it. It has, been, it has brought so much when you talk about the great teachers that have come over from Villa and, and administrators and, you know, uh, staff and faculty that we've been able to pull together, yeah. right? So it starts there, just looking at all the people that we have that are now able to work together. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so blessed to get to work with, you know, everyone in my department and our administration and, you know, uh, the staff and faculty. I mean, everyone is just, you know, uh, has been awesome. And then getting to have all these new students and getting to, you know, teach, you know, um, you know, to teach the girls as well has been amazing. I, yeah. you know, some of the experiences, and this has gone for, you know, girls, you know, and, and like you said, like the traditions, um, one of my favorites was Mary's Day last mm. year. Yeah. I, I was Me too. blown away. I mean, I remember 
sitting when, you know, and, you know, you kind of grow up hearing about, like, Mary's Day, you know, as, yep. as a prep guy, and you hear about your friends that go to Villa, and you know about it, but, and you know it's a special day, but experiencing that was mm -hmm. unbelievable. I remember sitting in the cathedral with, like, chills yeah the entire time yep. with the singing and the performances and the crowning of mary and like like almost even being brought to tears like it was beautiful yeah so to be able to incorporate those worlds together has been unbelievable and seeing the the interaction between the guys and the girls has been awesome yeah you know what i mean to see how they get along and how they interact and you know to have that special dynamic in the classroom of how they work together academically and how they work together socially and then you know extracurricularly with the plays and clubs and events yep. and it's been it's been really 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 awesome i was blown away as well at mary's day because yeah. that as you were saying i've heard about it knew it was a special day but to actually experience it to be a yeah. part of that and uh, a lot of the long time villa faculty members said having it at the cathedral even mm. made it that much more special yes. for them too yeah. so yeah. i thought it was very um, amazing that being a first time person, I mm. was blown away. Yeah. But even long time Villa faculty members were, mm. I won't say blown away, but thought it was that much more special Absolutely. by having it at that, at the cathedral, the way it was done. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that was so cool. That was really cool. Yeah. yeah. We're really blessed to have the cathedral right there and to yeah. use it for, you know, masses and everything like that. It's really, and even, and Mary's day and all the other traditions, like our student council has been doing amazing things, working together and mm -hmm. our interact club has been doing great things. And then I just think of like the teachers that are all, you know, working together as well yeah. and the staff, faculty, everyone, it's just brought such a great synergy, which has, you know, helped everyone. Yeah. You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah. So um, just a couple final questions for you. Um, we've talked a lot about all the things that excite you about yeah. prep and yeah. uh, you know, all the great things that you've experienced as a student, as a, you know, a teacher, and you know, nowadays with the co-ed school. But um, what are you excited for now with prep? What are you looking forward to? So simply, it, it, I always say this, the people. It's the people. Yeah. That's what makes us so amazing. I mean, and, and, and I could start listing people and you know, say, you know, Mr. Patooch and Mr. Herbstreit and Mrs. Seep and, you know, you know, Mr. Smith and you and, you know, in our front office, Mrs. Haw and Mrs. Haft and every one of my department mates. And I feel like I could start naming people, you know, and the teachers I get to teach with. And I, I can't because I would leave people out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel yes. horrible about right. that because everyone we work with is so great. I am yeah. so, so blessed to get to just work with the best people in the world. I truly do. Like, I don't feel like I sometimes have to pinch myself and be like, you're at work now. You know what I mean? Like, you're <laughs> yeah. at work. Like, because I just enjoy it so yeah, much. Yeah, so much fun. Yeah. And, and, and the kids, they're just the absolute best. Yeah. You know, they're just the absolute best. And, and that's what excites me. And, you know, we always start, so it's, you know, uh, we always start every class of mine. We always have a, a prayer and gratitude. And I like to always start every single day with the kids, just a little bit, you know, just a few minutes talking about what we're grateful for. What's, what's good in the day. Cause, cause I truly believe having a grateful heart mm. is one of the most important things in the world Yeah, to have a happy, healthy, successful life. Um, and, and we always, so I always like to kind of start off with a little gratitude and, you know, I, I one of the things I actually just came up yesterday, I was talking to. One, we were talking as a class. I'm like, so someone tell me something good over break. What happened good over break? And a student raised their hand and said that, you know, they had gotten baptized over break. Mm. And like to hear stuff like that is so amazing. Yeah. You know, and that was not the first student this year that had gotten baptized. Like I've had several students who have said like, like they decided to get baptized. And like you see that and you're like, wow, like we can teach them things and that's great. But like making a decision like that mm. to, to, to become, you know, a part of the church and give your life to Christ and like that's eternal yes right that's right. eternal and when I see stuff like that that excites me more than yeah. anything you know what I mean again I sat there in goosebumps as they're telling me about getting baptized and you know what I mean and just the amazing things that our kids are doing it just is so exciting no wonder why you're having so much fun yeah you know I mean you get to be a part of all this yeah stuff with these exactly kids, making great life decisions yep yeah yeah it really is it's it's a blessing yeah it really is yeah 
Well, that's awesome. I would, you know, have to, you know, say when you talk about the people and, mm -hmm. you know, just the excitement around where the organization is headed yeah. in the future for years to come. We're in a good spot. Yeah. With good people we're, like yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have to say, we're very, very fortunate and blessed to have you here, Tony. Yeah. I mean, you're a great advocate for the school. You're obviously a great person teaching these mm. classes. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, I hope my kids get to have you as a teacher because <laughs> the lessons they're going to learn right. beyond just the actual lesson in school is going to be super valuable. So. Yeah, I'm, yeah, they probably will. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm here through my kids. So <laughs> there I, we go. So, so well, we'll my, my kids are prep class of 2037, 2038, okay. 2039, and then 2041. So. Okay. Yeah, you got me that one. I got you. So, yeah. so as long as as long as no one gets sick of me in the in the <laughs> in the administration, I hope we'll be all right. We'll, we'll be all right. But no, I appreciate it and yeah. you know, again, I mean, we're so lucky to have you and and you know, everyone that works in the advancement office and and in the, you know, business office and, you know, uh, you know, every 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 aspect and again i i feel like we could do a separate podcast where i just talk about every person in the school <laughs> you know what i mean list, our, yeah. our, our our maintenance crew our yeah. you know what i mean our maintenance crew who works their tails off all right. the time you know with you know everything that they do throughout the school our yeah. front office and how hard they work the administration the you know so many people behind the scenes that yeah. you know really deserve so much credit that i if I started trying to name everyone, I we, we'd have another forty-five minutes to right. go. But yeah, you know, just I just want to give all of them a shout out that you know some of the people you might not you know see as much do incredible work. Absolutely, the people that work in our you know our administration, our our business, or the enrollment management, everyone they just they work so hard, and we're very very fortunate to have everyone here. So we are we're in we're in really really good hands. So uh, you know, like you said, anyone uh, listening that. You know, thinking about, you know, make sure you send your kids and your yes. kids' friends here. Just, They're I really always good say, hands. do an open house, or do that, no open house, the shadow day. Shadow, yeah. Yes, shadow. Right? See and what it's like. Hopefully yeah. your principal will let you unlike mine. <laughs> yeah, right. Not that I'm salty about that or anything. <laughs> no, no, nothing. No. I'm not going to bring it up more than once during no. this podcast. No. <laughs> no. no, that's it. All right, final question for you. Surprise, one bonus. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, so this is an answer that I think you'll be able to give better than probably most people. It, it's what does it mean to be a rambler? And I say, you know, better than most people jokingly, but you obviously grown up into the prep family. You mm -hmm. knew you were going to prep. Mm -hmm. You went as a student here and you've spent most of your adult life a mm -hmm. part of prep. Um, so yeah, the question is, what does it mean to be a rambler? Wow, that's a great question. To be a rambler to me is to be a man and woman of God. Mm -hmm. It's to be someone who's about something bigger than yourself to be someone who's about service who's about living out the gospel values that that jesus taught us about loving each other about caring for each other um uh, about sacrificing you know for others um and then it's it's someone who who strives every single day to use their god-given talents to try to make the world even a little bit better of a place in whatever way you can, wherever you are, um, whether that be in the classroom, on the field, on the stage, in your home, um, you just try to use the gifts God gave you to just, you know, try to improve the world just, you know, a little bit. And, and you do it all for, you know, the glory of Jesus as, mm -hmm. as a man or woman of prep. That's to me what we're about. And someone who's just, proud of their faith and um their school and and you know that to me is what prep's all about amen i couldn't have said it any better myself that's Thanks. great answer 100 <laughs> yeah, yeah. because it, it, it embodies everything that we try to do mm -hmm. all the things you've been talking about through this episode about the lesson from the story of coach mish and mm -hmm. just all the other things you shared with us that's basically what we're striving for mm -hmm. every day is to be you know men and women of god mm -hmm. yeah. yeah absolutely yeah yeah and that's and it's Again, what makes us so special is we care, we care about your academic growth so much, but we also care so much about you as a person. Yeah. And that's what makes us so special. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, this has been fun. Yeah. Thanks so much awesome. for coming yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, Episode absolutely. number 50. 50. Yeah. A little milestone. That's there. right. I was going to say. Awesome. Save yeah. the milestone for you. Nice. So. Awesome. <laughs> but Very no, cool. we appreciate you coming on. This has been fun talking with you about, you know, uh, your time at prep and your your life, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes. But no, it's been great. And, you know, we really are thankful for everything you do for the school. And uh, I'm glad that you're, you're teaching here and you're yes. a part of this. I'm a very, very, very blessed man. I always... I tell my students, uh, you know, living a living a good life. There's three sim- there's three simple steps. Number one, have a rock solid faith. Number two, wake up and do what you love. And number three, go home to who you love. Mm. And I can check yes for all three of those. Wow. And I'm a very 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 blessed man. So, That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm very. God has been very good to me. That's awesome, Tony. So. Thank you so much for everything you shared with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.